Residents of Belize City and cycling enthusiasts around the country were distraught at the news that circulated on Saturday morning of the murder of a legend in the cycling arena, 43-year-old Ernest Dwayne Jamin Maine. For those who were not close to him, it was undoubtedly an unexpected turn of events. But sadly, Maine was on pins and needles as his life was threatened just days prior to his murder. The expended shell has been recovered and friends and family members are trying to cope with the tragedy and untimely death of this man, who has been dubbed a wonderful father, friend, athlete, son, and worker. One of those who attest to the goodness of Maine is his confidant, father figure, friend, and employer, Santino Castillo. Jamin didn't start riding for me till after his 1997 cross country. But as a boy, I admired him when he was a boy, that is, because one of the things that Jamin had in, uh, in the bicycle world that few have is bike control skills. And that is because he started on a BMX bike. That's how Jamin started. And when I first caught eye of him, Jamin could have done anything for a BMX, you know, then, but they would jump wrong and do this cup stunts. And Jamin could stand, stay on a bike. And that bike don't move, take off a shot and everything. The man was unbelievable. That is why when it came to criteriums, Albert and Regent Street, he won so many, I was so good car. When he banged curve, I saw the man had unbelievable bike control and he picked it up from BMX and it was then when to answer your question, I first noticed that this young boy will be the future of cycling in Belize and then he went on to ride for the Belchai team and as soon as I got the opportunity to draft him, I did. My relationship, as I told my wife with Jamin, is Jamin is, is like my son. We hang out together. We have a couple bears together. We ride together. He looks up to me like his father. He tells me his problems. I've known him for 25 odd years. He's been a rider on my elite team. He's a rider on my master's team. He's been an employee, a faithful employee of Santiago Castillo for over 10 years. And um, words can't explain the loss I have for Jamin. With a friendship that spans over two decades, Castillo recalls the undeniable talents of the cyclist as well as his milestones and significant moments in his cycling history as well as the aliases Maine earned in his career. Jamin is one of the few talents in Belize. Probably Jamin and Marlon Castillo, had they been drafted by a professional team when they were 18 years old, they could have both made it to the Tour de France. I am so serious about that statement. Those are the two talents that I believe could have made it internationally. Jamin as it is, <clears throat> stayed and competed in Belize and won every single race there is in Belize. You can't mention a race that Jamin did not win. From the Creme Classic to the Cross Country, Belmopan Classic, there is not a race that Jamin did not win. At one time, they had Saturday races. Jamin won nine in a row. Nine Saturday races in a row. He would jump out and run from start to finish. When I tell you that young man was talented, Jamin could train two times, three times a week and still come out there and hurt people. When Jamin would show up to ride, everybody's heart would tremble. He had so many nicknames. He was called Bridget because he would bridge the gap. And he used to call her Bridget and he tell me, boss, tell me when that two minutes and a half and a bridge from this crowd to the front crowd. And when I get to the front and I holler, Jamin, the come. Look here, everybody, they scramble for making no call. And then my riders up front, like Ariel Rosado, Mateo Cruz, James Frampton, then take the free ride. That guy was unbelievably talented. And on top of that, he was not conceited. He was humble. He was a guy that was willing to impart his knowledge. And m probably one of the reasons why we got along so well, he had a phenomenal sense of humor. And he had a whole bunch of nicknames that the public probably doesn't even know about. First of all, he used to call her Bawi. Where did that come from? That came from the ambulance. Anytime you hear the ambulance, wee, Bawi, Bawi, that hinder behind the ambulance. And nobody does it wrong. So then get her name, Bawi. They used to call her Click Clicks. Click clicks because when he changed the gear, you're cock cock, you're gone. 
But then you do so jamming gun, right? And they call her the golden boy. They call her Bridget. Solomon, the amount of nicknames he had was unbelievable. He won the two cross countries in 1997, which I will give due respect for. He won that, at that time he was riding for Belshai. It was right after that I drafted him. And in 2001, he won under the Santino's banner when the very powerful Jose Robles, Jamin and Andrew Smiling got away around chairs and ran all the way to Belize, just the three of them, and Jamin crossed the line first. And the first words out of his mouth, in fact, it's the, ol the only two times I've cried for Jamin was when he died yesterday, when he crossed the line in 2001. He hollered, when me boss there, when me boss there, when me chief there. And he got straight to me, hugged me up, he said, this stuff for you. And tears just came out of my eyes. But he was unparalleled when it came to the cycling world, and every single cyclist out there knows it. Over the last 25 years that Maine has been involved in cycling, there have been relationships built with cyclists from his era, while impressions have been imprinted on younger riders. Today, Love News spoke with Fitzgerald Palace Joseph, who rode with Maine in several races, and we also spoke with one of the leading riders of this era, Byron Pope. If he was a phenom, Phenomenal, not only in cycling, but as a as an individual, humble. He was a one of the humblest cyclists I ever met, and one of the humblest person, individual I ever met. I haven't, you haven't heard anyone on the streets can tell you that Jamin was in a fight or anything like that. So it really hurt to see that uh, a legend like Jamin to finish his life, to, someone to finish his life in that in that manner. My best memory of Jamin would have been in 2001 when I coached him, when he won his last cross country. Um, Jamin to Team Santino's was like a LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant with three seconds to go and you're down by two. Jamin is the guy that we go to and he always come to us and that's the best moment I had with Jamin, being not only a, a friend or a fellow cyclist with him, but having been with him when he won in 2001. The last encounter I had with Jamin was cross country, because that's the last race he rode with, with the, with the um, elite guys. No? I had some different encounters with Jamin in some other big races, small races. Recent, the recent one was last year, September Classic, when uh, me and Jamin got away on Alberta and Regent Street. And like everyone was cheering for Jamin because he let's go the golden guy and I remember I said in you know, my mind I said like I have to get rid of Jamin because I did wrong cycling for nice small and I know if Jamin would have gone to the tip he would have he would have beat me at the age that he is right now. So I had close encounter with him. I even lose races because of him a certain times, but he was a good guy. From before he, he passed away, he was a legend and every cyclist who knows Jamien and people who don't know him would look up to him because he is part of Belize history. He won two cross countries that a lot of other people, a lot of other Belizean come and go, don't win. And he won it two times. I could I could say when I was young, I am listening to race before I started riding, Jamien was one of the man I always wanted to be like because he, his name was frequent on the media, frequent in the races and he would always come up on top. I think he's one of the guys that win every single race in Belize already. It is the end of a man's life who left many fun memories behind with those who surrounded him, leaving family and friends with just that, memories. For Government Minister Santino Castillo, who has undoubtedly taken the news quite hard, he will be pushing to have the name live on in the cycling arena. I would name a race in his memory. I would pick a race and... If I was the Belize Cycling Association, I would pick a race, just like they used to have the Alphus Williams AIDS Day Classic, and name it the Jamin, Ernest Jamin Cycling Classic. I think that would be the greatest memory we could do for Jamin. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.